Happy Monday, everybody, back with weekly reflections and insights. And today we're talking about time management. And we're gonna come at time management from two different angles based on two recent coaching sessions I had. First angle, abundance. Second angle, resistance and avoidance. But time and resource management, the overarching theme. So in the first instance, client approaches me and they have an abundance problem. They're not clear on which direction to take because leadership is not giving them that top-down direction. They're saying, basically, in essence, go be successful and help the company grow. That's great, but if you don't have a clear path forward, you don't have a definition of success, it's impossible to effectively allocate resources, time being maybe the most valuable among them, towards those goals. The goals are too abstract. They're too undefined. So dealing with this problem, we figured, great, it's time to have a discussion with the brass. We need to create a definition of success. We need to create some concrete goals because while my client has the ability to take their business in a number of different directions, without knowing how best each one of those conceivably fits in with the larger business and the goals of the business as a whole, both in the short and the longer term, it's gonna be very difficult to bring those efforts together and help the company grow if one division or individuals are all working at cross purposes and individual purposes. Abundance is a great thing, but abundance without clarity and abundance without direction, it leads to waste. So. We were able to overcome this issue, helping the client understand, great, we need to get some clarity and we need to get some direction so that we can start to eliminate the less desirable options. We can focus on defining success and creating that pathway forward, utilizing the client's strengths, experience, resources, et cetera. Now, coming at it from the other angle, resistance and avoidance. And again, this kind of ties in with waste a little bit. Another client approached me and didn't really know what to talk about in a particular session because man, things are going well. We've been working together for a couple of years now and the efforts this client has made personally, professionally, and you know, to build the office, it's paying off, it's great. But the client has found that, I don't know what to do with my time now. Now there's a bit of a scarcity issue here, perceived at least, I don't know what to do. Well, the client found that this caused them to drop into micromanagement roles, going into tasks that previously had been delegated or eliminated. Why? Why are you going back to these things that don't rise to your level anymore, don't need your attention, or simply just aren't your job? And what we discovered was, outside of the professional, there were some other areas where we could be doing some work, but the pull of needing to be busy in the office the idea of busy and productivity somehow being the same thing, we're creating that rationalization. I don't need to go to work over here because, well, there's busy work to do over here. This is where the real work needed to be. The office, the professional side, it's in a good place. So now we wanna create the full, well-balanced life. So we moved over to the personal side of things and okay, how can we set you up? down the road so that everything is positioned for you to take advantage of the opportunity when that big goal and the opportunity that you need to get there presents itself. Preparation. The professional's in a good spot. Let's get the other areas in a good spot so that when you need all hands on deck, when it's time to make that big push and you need support from friends, family, coworkers, everybody, you've got everything in position. The chess pieces are on the board and all you have to do is execute. So those are our two angles for today. Abundance, I don't know what to do. I've got too many options. Get clear on the big goals. You can start to eliminate some of those options that don't really fit in or don't move the ball towards those big goals. Similarly, if things are going well and you find yourself dropping into busy work and just you know, sort of distraction level stuff, Where's the work that you're avoiding? Where's the resistance? Where can you get some preparation 
some maintenance work in other areas to set yourself up so that when opportunity presents itself, you're not scrambling to get ready. You're ready just to pull the trigger and go. So time, a resource like any other. If you're not clear on how to use it and how to deploy it, it's gonna get wasted. And if there are things that you're avoiding and you're frittering away time and other resources on nonsense and junk, get honest with yourself and ask where is the resistance and what am I avoiding and why am I avoiding it? Because there's always something we could be doing. But finally, rest is a good use of your time as well. Don't neglect it. It's a big piece of all of this. But those are our insights. Those are our reflections for today on time management. Questions, comments, and feedback, always reach out. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time.